I'm going to tell you something tonight, Catherine. Something that will put my life in your hands. Your life? It would mean my life were the news to get to certain circles, yes. Then don't tell me. How do you know you can trust me? I love you. And I believe you love me. You're quite wrong. This has been only an adventure to me. That isn't true, Catherine. It is true. You smiled at me. I was flattered. It was an adventure for a holiday mood. You may as well take my heart, Catherine. It's already full of you. You walked into it the day we met. You're a fool, Rudolphus. <laughs> but isn't any man who falls in love? Do you know what you are to me? You're something to believe in again. You're a type of person that had ceased to exist for me. A fine and honest woman. Oh, my darling, you're such a child. Take your foolish little dream in your heart and go. Please go. What is it? What's wrong, my dear? You know nothing about me. You've known me only three weeks. Three weeks? Catherine, I've known you all my life. All your life. It's true. I've seen you in a thousand plays. Read you in as many books. When I've heard beautiful music, I've thought she'd like that. I've looked at flowers and known that one day I'd give them to you. Oh, stop, stop. You must listen to me. I'm not that woman. Perhaps I was once, but I'm not now. You see, you were wrong. You can't trust me. Are you trying to tell me that someone whose name we both know and won't mention the century? What are you saying? See, I've known all along. I had Albert look you up the day you arrived. And it, it didn't make any difference? It didn't make any difference. You see, I trust you. You came here to betray me and to betray my country. That is your mission, Countess Richula. And yet I am so sure of your love that I will trust you with my life and what is far more valuable, the life of my country. I will betray you. If you do, you will betray yourself at the same time. So, you shall know my secret. Even now, as we sit here, there is a great network growing tighter around the foremost nations of the world. Treaties, pacts, alliances being formed against the man who sent you. Tonight, I will sign a pact that will set the wheels in motion to destroy him. Destroy him? No. He's made a great many mistakes. The greatest of all was sending you here, Catherine. Why? He knew I should love you. But he did not guess that you would fall in love with me. No, I didn't guess that. Then you do see that you cannot betray him. If I betray you, I betray myself. If I betray him, I betray my country. My country is very dear to me. Dearer than I? No. No, not dearer than you. Then, will you help me defeat him? Help you? By telling me his plans. That's the only way I can hope to defeat him. We can't both win, you see, Catherine. I'm beginning to see. Then you will help me. By giving you any information I may possess concerning our plans? Yes. You're very clever, aren't you? Oh, I can read you like a book now. You thought I was young and easily swayed. That you could make me love you. And I would throw over my country. My duty for That's you. That's not the way to look at it, Catherine. You weren't so wise after all, because you've lost, you hear me? Lost. You get wrong in our little duel of wits. You forgot how close hate is to love. You don't know what you're saying, Catherine. You never loved me. You knew that I loved you, and you used that. Catherine, stop talking like a child. We're playing for countries now. Yes, we are, aren't we? This is a gun in my hand, Rudolph. I'd advise you to be careful what you say. Well? Rather melodramatic, aren't you? Tell me, will I be the seventh notch on the gun or the eighth? <laughs> Do you mind if I smoke? Smoke? I always smoke at the theater. Somehow it enhances the performance. You can do anything you please, Rudolph. But you have very little time to do it in. You mean you're actually going to kill me? I mean just that. Well, go ahead. I'll do this my own way. Look. You already know my purpose in being here. Now you will either give me my information, or I will kill you. You have until nine o'clock. You won't do it. You can't pull the trigger. You can't pull it because you love me. It takes.
takes a very brave and a very cold woman to do that, Catherine. I don't think you can. Isn't that true? Isn't that why you're waiting? That's not true. Or is it that you want to watch your victim? You want my heart to constrict with agony, my hands to shake. You want me to plead for my life so you can make a generous gesture and spare me. Sorry, Catherine, I don't seem to be in the mood for prayers tonight. You don't think I'll do it. That's why you're so brave. You don't think I'll do it. You wouldn't be so brave otherwise. You're a coward at heart. You lied to me. You deceived me. You tried to deceive me. I'm tired of listening to you. You gave me your heart, you know. You'd like me to hand it back whole again. But I won't. a long time yet, Catherine, an eternity without me. You will look into the faces of passers-by, hoping for something that will, for an instant, bring me back to you. You will find moonlit nights strangely empty, because when you call my name through them, there will be no answer. Always your heart will be aching for me, and your mind will give you the doubtful consolation that you did a brave thing. You dare to talk of bravery. What else do we have to talk about, Catherine? For me, there will never be another woman but you. But for my heart, there is another love that must come before you. My country. 